What's up guys, back again with me, Georgia is here. Today we will make some pot, 3D pot, it looks like this. This is very easy to make it, just need something like, uh, what can I say, this is some curb that we have it here, and also this icosphere. This is just simple 3D, why I make it something like this, because I want to show you how to make procedural um, clay, will be looks like this. It's kind of easy, just need some few times to make it like this. And by the way, before I continue to this tutorial video, if you want to have file exactly like this, you can join to be my patron, link down below, and you can write it patreon.com slash studio underscore Georgia. And for a dollar, you can have it some free files, materials, objects, and so on. And before I continue to this tutorial video, feel free to subscribe and enjoy this video. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna delete all of this. Click X. And now, I'm gonna add some a curve and using path. And here, I'm using a blender. 3.6 so you can see what I click here because um, someone asking why I cannot see the button and I don't understand about that all right so now here we are why I'm using a uh, blender 3.6 because this shortcut I cannot using in uh, blender 4.0 so I will have to try to solve it about that and now here we are, um, I'm gonna rotate this one by clicking R, Y, and 90, so you can see here now, right? And don't forget to click tab for doing some editing now, and go to this screw, and after that just click this, uh, this point, move it by clicking G and then X. Or if you don't know, you can move it here, this is move, right? So you can having some uh, bottom like that, so that's cool. Now uh, we have something like this. This is just only one side, and we want to make it like, uh, you know, the other side too, which is like mirror or something like that. We can move it into this axis. Here we are on the Z side, so we can use it on the X side. So we'll be, looks like this, right? This is cool. And now we can do some editing here. We will make some pot, and just do simple pot here. And this doesn't look cool. How to fix it? It's very easy. You can click E. Will be looks like this. And now it looks better. And after that, I'm gonna try to put it up here, but maybe not. Will be just like that. And here we are. We can move it. Boom. Looks amazing now. Looks amazing than before. And just want to make sure that like having more cool, right? Will be looks like this. And here, this is doesn't look cool. We can increase this up for the render and stop before also. And here. I'm gonna add just like maybe um 12 oh sorry 22 so it will be looks like this a little bit smooth and better than before right and after this just uh add some solidify go here we will add some thickness more thickness and for the offset we can like you know we can increase and not decrease but I guess just something like this was okay. That's cool. And after that, I'm gonna convert this object. But I think this is too thick. All right, something like this. All right, now I'm gonna uh, convert this object. All right, so now I'm gonna convert this one into mess. We can search here by clicking F3 and mess. And now this object uh, become a mess. All right, so now let's go move here. Add some subdivision surface. Wait a few seconds for a rendering. All right, so if you already add some subdivision surface, it's something like this. And now we can move it again here, which is um, we will add some bevel. But this is already looks cool here, by the way. But yeah, we can set it smooth. And we'll using bevel later. And here, I'm gonna choose all of that. And just move it into the right side here. All right. And after that, just zip A. Let's get at some A empty plane axis. Move here. Let's get at some array. And deactivate for relative offset. Activate for the object offset and choose empty. Now in the up here we have uh, we have uh, uh, the other pot, so we can rotate this one like that. Right. So it's easy and we can take it back here i want to make it like four like that it was cool but this object is very far away i want to make it close we can do 
a bit editing here but here we are I just want to make sure that not really like three or something like this and here we are just do something oops no not like that all right now that's cool and don't forget to save your file and I'm gonna add some AI Cosphere in the middle my favorite one right here and I will using four just take it a little bit on the same size this is on the back so we can put it in the front like that all right now let's get add some camera by clicking Shift A Control Alt and zero will be immediately like that and here for the focal length I want to using one 150 which is look like this uh, which is looks like this and this is we are still on the EV we will move it into the cycles and for this one C view G view right just stand same as usual right cool and this is what we have it now but here for the background we will uh, using this color like gray but we can edit later Alright, so now let's go move here and here we are just add some light. Go into the light. But here for a light I want to do just simple lightning. Not really so complicated for this one. And here we can wow too much. <laughs> My bad guys. Right, something like that was okay. And let's get move it into the shapes and I will using ellipse. Just trying there and I'm gonna duplicate that one move it here just move it in the front but this is too bright for a front this we can decrease this one into 8000 but this is still too much uh, like 5000 uh, all right this is better so now let's get move it into the right side not to the left side for duplicate it maybe looks like that but I think for the background I want to make it dark like this we can have it like that and now I want to move this camera just a little bit close like that it looks better I like it and after that that I'm gonna do just duplicate this object I want to put it this um, balls here so it's like you know fall from this pot something like that you can duplicate this one again bit here just take it down this looks like fall also put it there the up there oops no g and then put it up all right here we are and just move it here it's something like that was cool and then after that i want to duplicate again but make it a small one and we can put it here stick it down 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 all right and boom cool so we have something like this and this one i want just simple one i mean not a lot but just small one all right just do it everything uh sorry just do it as something that you want it here we can duplicate again and put it there also all right something like this was cool better but here i wanna make it more a little bit dark maybe just 1000 all right that's not bad it's cool that's cool still go into this film and we will using some color management we will using all right here we don't have some agx camera but we will move it later to blender 46 sorry 4.0 <laughs> We will move it like that uh, for rendering so here we are we will add some medium high contrast we'll be have some high contrast just medium not high so it will be looks like that and here i want to add some maybe just like you know a simple color not really uh, complicated to to do some here but maybe i'm gonna <laughs> join this one so here i want to add some shadow editor right don't forget to save your file so we'll be like that all right so guys now here we are i am at blender 4.0 must be dizzy for you guys but i'm sorry about that you can also using in 
Blender 4.0. There is nothing uh, different. But yeah, of course, a little bit uh, update from them. But here we are. Let's go move into this um, procedural a uh, material, which is here. All right, now uh, click this new. Here we are. We will make some, sorry, we will do some procedural for uh, clay into this pot. So it will be just a little bit interesting here. All right, now zip A, let's get at some color ramp. A color ramp was here. Oops, color ramp is here. Uh, connect into the best color, right? Um, I think, yeah, yeah. And after that, we will add some noise texture will be here and I think just like that just gonna fact into this fact zip a let's get add some a bump put this bump here connect into the normal here duplicate this one put it here connect into the H like that right so it was very easy but it's not done by the way <laughs> we can need to add this another Noise texture, just grab it up for the mapping and texture coordinate. All right, now here we are. Let's get to some editing. First thing first, that I'm gonna do is from here, from the scale here, just using like five. What's that? Uh, what's same, but here we'll be using like 7,000. And let's get the uh, increase this roughness into 1,000. And then after that, let's go move it into this color ramp, which is here. Uh, which is here, which is this one, but this is, didn't connect yet. So it will be looks like that, right? And let's get move it here. But I think I cannot see how it was about the texture. I have to wait, All right? So it will be looks like that. We can try like that, not really so bad. Here we are. And let's go move into this noise texture. Here, just try to um, increase more, maybe like six. And here, for detail, we can add more like to seven. And for this, make it 1000. All right. And after that, for the color, we want to using like, you know, some brown color. We can put it here, but this is orange. <laughs> we can make it dark. All right. And this is the second one. We can do it here, just check it down. Um, not really, maybe something like this. It's cool how it was. All right, now we can go back here. All right, this is looks cool. But I think here for this bump, I'm gonna try to take it down again. Just not so much. And how it was about this one. All right. Maybe we can add more. Or something like this was okay. We can see still the detail here, which is on this pot. Looks cool too. Looks cool still. All right. Now um, we can uh, move it into this. Into, what can I say? Principal BSDF. First thing that I'm gonna do for the roughness is bring up and let's bring up metallic a little bit, right? If you are ready to do that, let's get move into the sub surface. We will using Christensen Burley. And after that, we have to go into the scene. Uh, maybe it was be here. No, it's not guys. Aha, uh -huh, it's here. I didn't see my bad. We can try not not so much like that but we can uh, we can do it something like this just like a little bit dark dark color but it is still in the chocolate sorry in brown <laughs> so we'll be like that right that's cool so now we can still see the, de uh, the detail here was cool I do like it also And then we can go into this. Just take it down for IOR. A little bit, not so much. All right, now we have it something like this. Um, but I think what else? 
to the emission. No, we will not using emission. It's same. All right, it's same also. It's same. But I think I want to take it down a little bit. Oops. Or something like that. All right, now I want to move it this light a little bit. Don't forget to save again. And now I want to move it here into this first object. And I want to using the orange color, which is going to the hex. And the code here will be FF4000. Boom, will be orange like that. And just bring down the roughness, bring up metallic, not really so much. I think something like this was cool. And now we will add some a bump. Connect this bump into normal. Let's add some color ramp. All right, put the color ramp here. Connect into the edge. Let's get add some noise texture. Connect fact into this color ramp. Oh, wow, crazy. <laughs> so we can move it here. This white one. We can move it like that, but it just kind of looks too much. We can um, for detail, we can trying more or something like that. But here we are. We can do it more also, but just a little bit like that. And for the string, we can do it here. You can see how it was. It was cool, not so bad. And um, maybe we can add more for roughness. Or maybe down, I think down. All right, that's cool. And now after this, let's go move into this every color here. We will using the same color, I guess. Will be better. So yeah. All right. So guys, tutorial for today it's done. It's really easy to make something like this. And if you want to have file exactly like this, you can join to be my patron. Link down below. And also you can write patreoncom studio underscore Georgia. For a dollar, you can have it some free file, um, some exclusive a uh, tutorial, just only in Patreon, and so on. Alright, so guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Georgia is here. See you in the next video.